Michael Herrera from My Chaos Rocks Promotions, and I'd like to introduce you to the band A Plus Dropouts. Hello. Please introduce yourself and your role in the band for the fans new to your music. My name is Cheska, and I am A Plus Dropouts, I'm a singer and the guitarist. <laughs> One of the guitarists, I suppose. And who came up with your band's name and who inspired it? Honestly, I don't even remember who came up with the band name. It's so long ago, I was like 12. Um, but I remember we used to do this kind of play with it where we were students by day and practice by night. That's kind of what the name was all about. Um, and it was pretty accurate because we were in school the whole entire time. Like I just finished high school and still did the band thing. I'm going to college, I'm still going to do the band thing. Yeah, so it's just kind of that. How did everybody in your band meet? Social media, mutual friends, and uh, random occurrences. The guy that plays guitar with us on this tour, his name is uh, David. He was in a band called Downtown Fiction. We were from the same area in Virginia, kind of, but we didn't meet until we both played in the Philippines, which is super random. But yeah, it's really cool. And what is your usual songwriting process, and where do you usually gather inspiration? Honestly, I don't really, like, this is such a hard question for me because when I write songs, I don't like to force it. Like, I don't like to be like, oh, I'm sad today. Here's what I'm feeling. I'm going to write an essay. That's not what I like to do. I like to sing, and I just like to sing melodies and let the words come out of me. If there's any point, if there's ever a point where I'm kind of forcing the words or whatever, I immediately stop because I feel like people can tell when it's forced versus when it's coming out naturally. What was the first song that you actually learned how to play on the guitar? Learn how to play, Sweet Child of Mine, I think. I was really bad at it, and I used to play the solo live, and I'm not sure I was any good at it, <laughs> because I was super little and I was just starting guitar. I, actually, I don't really remember how to play it anymore. And as a vocalist? As a vocalist? Are there any musicians whom you've learned from while touring with them? While touring with them? Well, this is our first kind of national tour. So, I don't know, I've been learning a lot of things from a lot of people. It's not really anyone specific. It's just you meet a ton of people backstage, you become friends with all these people, and you watch your sets and get a bunch of tips on how to do things on stage. So I feel like kind of subconsciously there's like stage things that I'm doing. Like I started jumping off the stage. I didn't do today. The last time I did it, I was like, that's a far jump. I have a guitar, it's just sketchy. But yeah, like little things like that. And how has music influenced your life outside of being an abandoned musician? Music, how has it influenced my life? Well, I don't know if I can live without music, you know? Yeah, like even just listening to it just makes me feel better because I can dance. You know, I'm not a great dancer, but I love to dance. I love to sing, I love to play. And do you think that online presence is important to increase fan awareness of your music? Yeah, I feel like online presence is one of the most important things. Um, there's actually people here, like we've never played in San Antonio before, but there's some people that like, have heard of us from about the internet, and um, they're like, you know, we came here just for you. Like, that's a $40 ticket, man. Right. Thanks. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I think it's super important. And what do you think about the online music services such as iTunes, Spotify? It's like, do you ever give away your music for free and why or why not? Um, we haven't really done any free things and why? I mean, there's not really a reason why, I guess. I don't know, it, it, this is kind of getting into like the whole legal thing, which I kind of want to stay out of, so we'll just leave it there. Okay, no problem. Since everybody was a startup band once, yeah. can you give any aspiring entertainers or bands looking to reach to that next level yeah. some tips? Um, probably just never give up. Because I was about to give up on pursuing work I've been doing it for five years, like asking Kevin to let me play. And I thought, you know, if, if we don't do it this year, I'm just going to give up. And it's a really good thing I didn't give up because we're here. Yeah. Definitely. What 
is your favorite tradition from your childhood that you would love to pass on to your future children? I have a lot of really weird traditions, but I don't think I want my kids doing them. Like, pretty much every time I eat my food, when it's really good, I tell it that I love it. And that's basically a tradition to me. But only if the food's really good. So pretty much every day in catering, you can probably hear like this random little girl going, oh my god, I love you. It's pretty embarrassing. It just happens. Man, I'm getting really sweaty. <laughs> yeah. I can just feel the dizziness. Yeah, it's Texas. Okay, and what has been the strangest and best venue or gig that you've ever played and why? The strangest and best venue? the Isleta Casino? I'm sorry, what? Uh, I believe it was at the Isleta Casino. Oh, yeah. I took a shower in the sink. Yeah. I was just kind of like, so, so, I'm feeling like, the past couple of days I haven't been putting on as much sunscreen, and my skin hasn't been feeling. I feel like Oklahoma, I stopped feeling. I got this really big bug bite, and then the sun just stopped messing with me. They're like, you know, you've been doing some stuff. Okay, and, okay, here's a hypothetical one. Okay. You're at a concert of your dream band to play in, and one of the band members is unable to perform, so you are called on stage to replace that band member. Who is the band, and why would you choose this band? Okay, I would... I don't know, like, I wouldn't want to replace anyone, ever. I feel like that's awful. If you could describe each of the members of your band using yeah. characters only from film, TV, or anime. Like characters? Yeah, characters. Okay, characters? Like, who or what would it be? What would it be? Okay. So we, got a name, we got a guy named Blue. He's uh, very spunky. And for some reason, I have no idea why. No, you know what? Butters from South Park. There we go. That is Blue. That's actually very perfect. Harley? Uh, he's hardworking. He's uh, he doesn't like the heat. He kind of complains in the heat a little bit more than everyone else says, but that's okay. We understand. We'll give him Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, Harley's a little like. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the last guy, David. He's our guitarist. He's a little older than us because he's in a different band. That's been If you ever had to give up music, what would you do to have your creative outlet? You see my face? I was like, <laughs> okay, I can't paint. I would dance. Not saying that I'd be any good, but I would dance. This was fun. I used to do dance classes in high school. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I really have to say about it. It's just a lot of fun. Definitely. Okay. And who are your 
influences that inspired you to be a front woman in music? In general? Mm -hmm. Probably Gwen Stefani is one of them. I don't know, at first I didn't really want to be the front woman. I mean, this is so weird. But yeah, I, I didn't want to be the front woman. I was more concentrated on guitar. Like Slash is my dude. I got to meet him when I was first starting out, which is really cool. But yeah, it would probably be those girlfriend of bands like Garbage, No Doubt. And this is for all the fans in Japan? Japan! Yeah, it's like, uh, would you actually be interested in ever touring there one day? Oh, of course! Yeah, we did the Philippines once and we were like kind of there and it was the best experience I've ever had. Japan, I love your food. I want more of it. I'm a big person like food and stuff. I want to see what you guys have to offer. And I heard Tokyo is like a super cool place to be, right? Like, I heard it's super busy but kind of high tech. I also noticed um, a lot of um, the punk decals. It's like, oh, who is your favorite punk band? Operation Ivy. <laughs> no, Tim's a really big influence on me. It would be like either Hop Ivy because they're awesome, legendary extra specs, really into them. They got this like sex thing going on. The girl's voice is killer. They should rest in peace. Yeah, probably those guys are my faves. Okay. Is there anything that you would like to tell the fans, such as new merchandise, upcoming tours, new albums, or just any message in general? Yeah, um, well, we're releasing music soon. I'm not exactly sure when, so just keep up on the social media. Follow us, twitter.com, slash Instagram, Facebook, all that. It's just safe with And uh, I love you. That's pretty much all I have to say. I feel like that says it all. Definitely. Wow. I would like to thank Jessica of uh, A-plus dropouts for this interview. Yeah, and this you. is Michael Herrera from my Jail Rocks.